Hello and welcome to another episode of Rebuild Your Body presented by Blue Phoenix Fitness. I am your host, Cameron Makarchuk, and I'm here to help you become your healthiest, strongest, most fittest self. Uh, today we've got a great episode for you. We're going to be talking all about resistance band exercises. This is part three in our series of band exercises. Today we're talking about everything pulling related. So we're going to talk about some vertical pulling, some horizontal pulling, uh, a whole bunch of pulling variations to start to strengthen your upper back, uh, mid back, biceps, and through the shoulders as well. So if you have missed part one and part two, we did lower body exercises first. And then last week we did some upper body chest and shoulder and tricep exercises. So be sure to go back to the uh, Blue Phoenix Fitness YouTube channel and you can get those episodes there. As always, if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you do hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel, putting out new content every week. So you wanna make sure you don't miss any of that. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just drop them in the comments below the video or you can hit us up on Instagram at Blue Phoenix Fitness. All right, so with that, let's get into some upper body pulling resistance band exercises. So when we start looking at a upright row with a resistance band, all we're gonna do is take that band, we're gonna put both feet on it, about shoulder width apart. You wanna have that band running underneath the arches of your feet, right? You're gonna grab palms down on the band, keep your chest up, shoulders down and back. You're just gonna give a big pull up to the chest and back down. Now what I like to do with this one is as you pull, I want you to actually rip that band apart at the top, right? It's gonna put your shoulders in a bit of a nicer position. Instead of trying to keep your elbows tight, which can cause a little bit of pinching and impingement in the shoulder joint here. And if you pull up, as you pull up, really rip that band apart. It gives a little more, a little more of motion, a little opening up with the shoulders as you're doing that, right? So from the side, that's gonna look like this. Chest up, abs tight, big pull, rip it apart, back down. Pull, rip it apart, and back down. So that would be a resistance band upright row. So looking at a resistance band pull apart, uh, all we're gonna do with that is take our band here like this. You wanna hold about, you know, maybe about shoulder width apart here, maybe a little bit more depending on how strong your upper back is. But all you're gonna do is take that band and just rip it, keeping your palms down, and just rip the band apart, squeezing your shoulder blades, and then back, right? Keeping tightness on the band the whole time, pull, and then keeping that band tight, pull, right? So from the side, that's gonna look like your arms, just a very slight bend in the elbows, and then you're pulling, almost like you're trying to pull your pinkies and you drive your elbows back uh, behind your back, and you're squeezing your shoulder blades as you are ripping that band apart, right? Making sure that you're not pulling here, you're not pulling down like this. You wanna pull straight back and try to squeeze your shoulder blades as you are doing that pulling motion, okay? So that is a resistance band pull apart. So looking at a band, resistance band bent over row, we're just gonna take our band here like this. You wanna double it over. You're gonna lay it across the ground, right? You're gonna step on it, both feet. Just kind of get comfortable here. You're gonna grab that band through the loops, right? Get into a nice strong position. You wanna be keeping your hips pushed back, knees bent just a little bit, just so you're kind of balancing, you're just kind of balanced and keeping that nice natural arch in the low back, keeping your shoulders down and back and back nice and flat. And all you're gonna do is just get a nice big pull up, squeeze the shoulder blades and back down. Big pull up and back down. Uh, and making sure that as you pull to come down, you don't wanna let the bands release. You wanna keep just a little bit of tightness on those bands through the entire movement, even at the bottom, so it's nice and smooth as you are pulling. And if you wanna add a little more resistance, you can loop your hands through and grab like that and get a little more pull, a little more tightness on that band as you're pulling, okay? So that would be a resistance band bent over row. Looking at a resistance band alternating bent over row, we're gonna take our band here, double it over. You wanna lay it on the ground. You're gonna step on it so it's running underneath the arches of your feet, right? Then you're just gonna grab the looped, uh, the looped ends, get into that nice strong position, flat back, hips back, knees just bent a little bit, right? So you're not here like this. You wanna be sitting back into it with your back nice and flat. 
And then you're just gonna alternate, pull one up and down, one up, down. And just alternating back and forth, keeping the band a little bit tight as you lower it down. And if you wanna give a little more resistance, you can loop your hands through and grab like that, which is gonna give a little more resistance as you alternate and pull, right? So that would be a resistance band alternating bent over row. Now looking at a resistance band single arm row, uh, also known, this, would, this variation would be also known as more of a lawnmower type row. You're gonna take your band, doubled over, you're gonna lay it down so it's running underneath just one foot, underneath the arch of your one foot, right? And then you're gonna grab the, uh, the loop on the opposite side of your foot as the arm that you're using, right? So I'm gonna grab it with this, with this side, right? I'm gonna put my hand through that loop and grab it. Now keeping good pressure down on your foot, you're gonna take a nice split stance, a nice long stance, keeping your back nice and flat. And then you're just gonna do that single arm pull, single arm row, kind of like you're starting a lawnmower, right? So you're pulling from here up, pull back down, pull back down. Thinking about pulling your shoulder back, pulling your shoulder blade back, squeezing your shoulder blade back as you pull and keeping that band nice and tight. And this hand here is just kind of for balance, right? So you're kind of taking some of the, the stress off of your low back by putting some weight on your hand here and getting that nice strong pull straight back, okay? So that would be a resistance band, single arm, lawnmower style row. Now looking at a resistance band seated row, uh, you could do this a couple different ways. You could either attach your band to something that you're gonna pull on, or if you don't have that option, you can actually do it just like this. So you're gonna take your band sitting on the ground, double over your band, you're gonna uh, loop it around the bottoms of your feet where the arches are, you're gonna grab the ends, sitting up nice and tall, and then we're just gonna get a nice big pull, squeezing those shoulder blades as we're pulling with the chest up through that whole movement, right? Keeping a nice strong back position, thinking about pulling those shoulders back, pushing your chest up as you pull, and keeping the band nice and tight through that entire movement. And if you wanna make that a little bit more challenging, you can loop your hands through and grab, and then do the same thing, getting that nice strong position, big pull, and back. And that just adds a little bit more resistance making sure you're not here, you want to be chest up, nice and strong. Okay, so that would be a resistance band seated row. So looking at a resistance band alternating seated row, what we're gonna do is take our band here, doubled over, we're gonna sit down on the ground and run it around the bottoms of our feet. So that's running just in, along the arches of our feet. You're gonna grab those handles, or the loops, right? Grab the loops, keeping your chest up, right? Legs straight, chest up, uh, nice strong position. We're just gonna do one arm at a time, pulling that band nice and smooth, not too fast, just really thinking about pulling the shoulders back with each row as we, you know, pull our shoulder blade back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and push that chest up as we're pulling. If you wanna make that a little more challenging, you can run your hands through the loops like that and grab, and that's just gonna add a little more resistance, a little more tightness to the band as you are pulling it, right? So main thing, keeping your chest up, you don't wanna be here like this, and you also don't wanna be pulling back with your upper body. You wanna be just pulling, isolating that row with each arm, okay? So that would be a resistance band alternating row. Now looking at a resistance band lat pull down, you'll need a little bit extra equipment for this one because you're gonna need something like a door anchor to attach the bands into a door frame or a, a pole or something that you could wrap the bands around, but you need something to attach your bands to at a, at a higher point. Um, so you can do this on your knees or if you can get it really high, you could do this standing, but most likely you'll be doing it from your knees with them in a door frame or attached to a pole or a beam or something like that in your house, or a chin-up bar. Uh, but anyways, regardless, you're gonna have these attached above your head. You're gonna grab one of your bands, 
And basically you're gonna get underneath of it here, grabbing the band on each side, keeping your chest up, and you're just gonna get a nice strong pull straight down, just like you would on a cable machine, pulling straight down, right? Keeping the band a little bit tight at the top, then driving, squeezing your shoulder, your elbows down and back as you are pulling that band down, making sure that you're not pulling like this, right? You wanna be chest up, squeezing your shoulders down, almost like you're trying to pull your shoulder blades into your back pockets, right? So big pull straight down. The other way you could do this is if you had two resistance bands of the same, uh, the same resistance, the same weight, you could actually do it uh, with both of them and that would add just a little bit more resistance because you'd be pulling the full band in each arm as you are pulling down. But regardless, whatever you have set up, that is the motion that you're trying to achieve. Just getting it straight down, chest up, and driving your elbows and shoulders down and back. So looking at a resistance band standing row, uh, some row variations, you're gonna need something like a door anchor to either attach your resistance bands into a door frame or something like a chin-up bar to, to tie them to a chin-up bar or a pole or something like that that you could attach these to um, behind you. But with a row variation or a couple row variations, you're gonna take your band, if you're gonna do a double arm row, you're gonna take your bands, right, one in each arm, Get that nice shoulder width stance, knees bent a little bit, chest up, and you're just gonna get a nice strong pull with the band straight back, squeezing your shoulder blades and back. Squeeze the shoulder blades, back. Squeeze the shoulder blades and back. Nice and smooth, not too fast, not letting it pull you forward. Just keeping your knees a little bit bent, nice balance, and squeezing back with each, with each rep, okay? And you could also, if you wanna get a bit of a better grip, you could run your hands through the loops and grab on that way. And that'll give you a bit more of a grip on those bands as you're pulling. Then you could also get into alternating rows right from standing, either one arm at a time, pull one arm at a time, alternating, same idea, right? Or you could just get into a single arm row where you're just pulling one arm at a time, doing all your reps on that one side and then switching and getting all the reps on the other side. But regardless, those are some row variations with a resistance band. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up below the video here. And if you did find that helpful, also make sure you subscribe. We're putting out new content all the time. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the videos. And like I said at the beginning, if you did miss part one and part two of this resistance band series, be sure to go back to the Blue Phoenix Fitness YouTube channel and you can find part one, which is lower body exercises, and part two, which is upper body pushing exercises for chest, shoulders, and triceps. And as always, if you enjoyed this video or found something helpful in it, you'll probably like some of the other videos that I've put up over the last uh, couple months. So I'm gonna put one of those right here beside my head and that's it. So go check that out and I will see you over there.